It's one of those days, everyone. By the way, this is not a pre-recorded video before everyone accuses me. Um, I know I look extra skinny because that's my identity. No, but uh, I am serious. I cried all night last night and I said, you know what? I'm this close to giving up. And here's the deal, everyone. Everyone hates me. Yes, there's nice comments from time to time, but do you see the crap people say about me everywhere around the internet? Do you see the comments that I receive from most people? You're fat, you're gross, you're disgusting, no one likes you. You're mean to Orlin, you, you don't have anything. Da, 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 da. You're poor, you're gross. You haven't eaten anything. You have these mental disorders. And I'm just not okay. And I said, I just want to eat because, you know, that's one of the only things that does make me happy. And maybe I do have a problem. Maybe I do have something. No, I don't know. I just share my life. I just, I just come on here. I share my life and it's just never good enough. I'm so tired of being the laughing stock. I'm so tired of being the person that just has to take all the punches. I'm so tired of... Like, I'm just supposed to accept it, even from friends. Like, you are the disgusting one. You are, like, you're just the fat person. That's all you are, you're just fat. Like, if you were skinny, I probably wouldn't talk to you. Like, I'm, you're just fat. Now, look at all these comments. It's like, how do I please people? I'm supposed to be that fat person. I'm supposed to be healthy, but people don't like me healthy. Oh, well, you're boring. Oh, well, ew. If I'm being honest with people, I feel very trapped. And on top of that, I'm, I'm hated. I'm, I've trapped myself into something where I'm also hated for it. It's not like I trapped myself into something where, oh, we love him, oh, he's so funny. Oh, he's the best. Like, no, I trapped myself into the worst person. I mean, I saw a video made about me the other day. I didn't actually watch it, I saw the title. I stopped watching a lot of things out there because it literally Makes me want to jump off a bridge. Fucking serious. But it was, it was like the worst YouTuber on the platform, or like the worst manipulate. Like what? I just eat food. Like, and you, you know, you have all these other influencers selling people Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, and selling people tickets to events that they don't even show up for, and all that. Like I, I don't sell any. I, I guess a t-shirt, a shout out on Cameo. I mean, but man, people selling lipsticks that have, you know, ingredients in it, giving people rashes. I mean, like, I feel like I've been pretty good compared to other people. The things people are selling. I don't even sell anything. T-shirts, that's like, that's just the obvious, like, a given. Every YouTuber has a, a, a merch, you know, but it's just, I'm the worst. I'm like, what did I even do? Just be fat, but that's what people wanted me to do. They wanted me to be fat. That's the only reason they want watch me, because I'm fat. Even though I, I identify as skinny. <laughs> it's so funny, isn't it? It's so funny. <sighs> well, I ordered something that I am excited for, and that's Denny's. Why I ordered that? It's because, uh, uh, I was kind of craving it, and it turned out to be the best thing I had that day. Because I also had pizza, and I also had, um, what else did I have? Pizza. It was like 80,000 calories. What did I have? I had other stuff. I don't even remember. Go watch the video if you even care. But, um, I'm like, you know, I'm feeling really down. I fe I'm feeling really hard on myself. I feel that I'm just so sick of people hating me for doing nothing, I don't know. And I'm just gonna eat my feelings. And you know, I'm like, well, it's a spiraling circle because if I show up here upset about myself, you're like, yeah, this is what we want, grab the popcorn. This is what I signed up for. Okay, great. Well, I ordered um, a little snack. It's actually not that much food. And I'm hoping it cheers me up, I really am. I'm thinking it will, uh, although, <laughs> They didn't have the BLT on the menu. I ordered online, they didn't have the BLT. The BLT sandwich, where is that? That was the best thing I had. They still have the hammy melt or whatever, but I didn't like the hammy melt, remember? But I got something that I've never tried. I also got the Philly cheesesteak, which I love. I got cheesy hash browns. I got sausage on the side, buttermilk pancakes. 
seasoned french fries. Ooh, and I'm gonna try for the first time one of their cheeseburgers. It's, um, excuse me, it's like bacon, avocado, on a brioche bun. <gasps> I'm excited. So hopefully this cheers me up, it probably will. I was really impressed with that. If you guys don't live in this country, this great country, Denny's is a diner type of restaurant, so it sells mostly breakfast food, omelets, pancakes, French toast. I didn't see French toast as an option for sides, which made me upset because I don't really want pancakes. <sighs> but it is what it is. But yes, but they also have classic dinners too. They have like um, T-bone steaks and brisket sandwiches and grilled chicken and patty melts buffalo mac and cheese and it's not just bread so um, you know it's pretty impressive god i'm so ugly i'm just so over this you know like if i just delete all my social media who's gonna even care no one i'm just gonna move on it's like what was the point of all this <sighs> didn't make as much money as i thought i would went into debt lost everything in cryptocurrency i literally could just i could literally work as a server at a restaurant and make equal amount of money it's like was this even worth it probably not And I used to make really good. Back before you know what, in 2020, I'd say 2019 was the best year for me. But ever since you know what hit, advertisers got picky. My channel was on the naughty list. I said, I don't even care because this is how I get views. If I'm nice, I get no views and I don't get paid. So I'm like, whatever, I'm going to do as much as I can. You know, I fought with Orlin and it's like, it wasn't even worth it. Just, I, I don't like this anymore. I don't like the people that watch me. I don't like, I love to eat, but you know, no one cares about what I like. It's just how can we make fun of him? How can we call him, you know, the worst YouTuber? The people call me the worst YouTuber. I don't mess with anybody, first of all. And I try to mind my business. I try not to give people attention that are looking to fight. I mean, think of, I mean, people make videos about me every day, this and this and this and this. I'm not, I, I don't engage with people. I, I, I say, you know what, have your opinion. I'm not, I, I don't owe you anything. I'm not gonna give you that satisfaction of me acknowledging you. I don't acknowledge anybody. I stay in my lane, I eat food, and yet I'm the worst YouTuber. This is what these, these videos say. I'm the worst, really? And there's, there's people on this platform that have really screwed people over. But I'm the worst. I don't even, I don't even talk to anybody. I have my circle of good friends. You know, I filmed really good lasting relationships on this platform, but yet I'm the worst. Anyways, this is just what I'm genuinely feeling. And um, hopefully this food cheers me up so I, I can identify as happy. Yeah. And you know what? Every once in a while I'll see a comment like, oh, I miss when you posted every day. I'm like, wow, thank you. You're like one of 10 people. It's really sad, you know? And I thought I was, I thought I was doing something. I just thought I was doing something, you know? <laughs> Anyways. I will see you when the, I will, I will turn this back on when the food's here. Cheapers, mm. creepers, fiddlesticks, cheapers, creepers, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. We have done Walmart inventory for quite some time. And I recently restocked all my pants. So it's, I actually just went to Walmart. Okay, excuse me. It's been quite some time and I need to check. Because if it's not here, I'm calling Cormit. You snitch! Walmart, Walmart, Walmart. Walmart, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
My merch. Shh. <laughs> Everything's in my closet. Thank you. Come again. Sheep or Peter, Peeper, Piker, Pika, 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 Pepper. Arr. Wait, I need that shirt for the show. Today we're having pizza because I like cheese. I like to eat cheese. Thank you very much. Goodbye, peasants. All right, so the food is here and it smells really good and I'm starting to get excited even though I was really sad in the beginning of this video and I'm getting happy because I know I'm about to eat. <sighs> oh my gosh. So, it smells delicious. Let's see what we got. So first things first, we got a side of sausage. We like our sausage. Sausage. I don't even know whatever. Oh, oh my gosh, look at this. <gasps> oh, look at that deliciousness. We'll keep it hot, keep it skinny, keep it new, keep it fresh. A syrup, some ketchup, some mustard, hurrah. What's in here? What's this box? Ugh. Oh, that's my cheeseburger. And we have our omelet and um, pancakes. That's it. Is this enough food? Well, actually, people want to see me actually finish my food, so that's what they're going to experience today. Because today's my day to feel better about my life. When life gets me down, I eat Denny's. All right, let's do my famous snap. Here we go. One, two, three. I decided I would show you me transferring this because it just smells so good. And I was like, I don't even want pancakes. Oh no, I actually do now. Holy moly, these smell amazing. I just want to kind of slip this onto my eating tray if that's possible. This is the Philly cheesesteak omelet and it actually looks incredible. I'm actually starving. I'm actually starving. Mm, I'm so excited. Let me get some more of this uh, hash brown over here. Oh my gosh. Now that's a really pitiful amount of hash brown, but that's okay. Life shall continue to go. The world shall continue to turn. Now I have good hopes for this cheeseburger. Can we do that? Shall we? Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. Oh man, look at this. This looks incredible. This is a breakfast sandwich with bacon and sausage and egg and cheese, also with extra cheese and some mashed avocado. And I do see the avocado in there, which they remembered, thank you. So I'm currently eating my feelings in case you skip the intro because no one likes me. Everyone's mean to me, I might as well just quit because people only care about me to be the laughing stock. I'm kind of sick of it. And I feel like if I disappeared, no one would miss me. And that's just how I feel about my life, actually. I feel like I'm uncared for. I feel like I'm not, uh, I'm just, just a piece of crap that you just come here to laugh at. And like, I don't feel like I have any love and any support. I, I think I should just delete my channels. That's what I'm rationaling in my head. I've fallen so far. I make the same amount of money now as someone that would serve at a busy restaurant. And I used to be a waiter. Please make me feel better about my life. Please let me feel like I'm appreciated. Please let me feel like I can get a hug from someone even though no one want to hug me if they just want to throw pies at my face. Please let me feel something. Like I'm worthy, like I'm valued, like I have purpose in this world. Because right now I don't feel like anyone actually likes me. And I just want to delete all my channels. So I know. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Oh my god. Now I feel 
I'm better about life, slightly. Oh my god. Mmm. Let's try these cheesy hash browns. <gasps> I feel like this might fall. Well, because it's sitting on cheesy hash browns, that's why. Look at these cheesy hash browns. Oh. Oh. Take a look at that. Your fault, it's always been your fault. That wouldn't have happened if I had to show you like a blind person. Mm. Oh. I'm gonna actually get those pieces because I paid good money for this. Mm. Cheers. Got a little piece. Ooh, let's try these french fries. Ooh. These are great. So I might as well just eat in private since everyone hates me. And do you want to know why I'm so upset? The amount of videos people make of me saying that I'm the worst. There's a YouTuber that made a video saying, calling me the worst YouTuber. Oh my God. And I said to myself, what the heck did I do to anybody? Like, I would actually like to know. What did I do to anybody? What did I do? Let me try this steak here. Oh, this cheesy omelet, Philly cheese steak. <gasps> I'm gonna eat it like a taco, even though you shouldn't. Oh my God. Yes. I wonder what goes through my supporters, which there's very few of them. What goes through your heads when you see people say I'm the worst YouTuber ever? Do you ever say to yourself, what did he do to anyone? Am I the only one saying this to myself? I know I don't really have that many supporters and most people watch me to hate watch me. I know, I get it. It's been like this for years. But the few out there, all 10 of you, all 20 of you, what goes through your head when you see what people say about me? A manipulator, greedy, abusive, poor Orlim, a mean, degrading, oh, no virtues, uh, greedy for money, and da 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 da, -da. <laughs> If people are actually, actually knew what I actually made, they, I think people would be shocked. I, I know they would be. I know they would be, because I've talked to other YouTube, I've literally shown them here, this why. Here's my pay payment for this month. I've shown. I literally the last YouTuber I collabed with. I was like, this is what I made for the the year. This is what I made for my lifetime on this channel. And they were like, what? I'm like, yeah. I am not advertiser friendly. It's been that way. I, I accept it. But it's just like I'm at a point where it's why do I go through this? What I could just serve serve play. I mean. And you're like, oh, yeah, but wait, waitering, you know, that's five, six, seven hour shifts. And I used to open and close some of my restaurants, excuse me. I used to open and close. Um, I know it's hard, but you know what? It's better than being hated by everyone. It's better than being chased at Target or at the movies. I went to the movies recently. I was like paparazzi like crazy. For all the wrong reasons. Like, I can't even live my life anymore. And I'll never be able to. Was that worth it? No. It's not. And I come here on this channel, and I feel like quitting and deleting everything, and just... I'm not... I'm, no one actually likes me, and it's a horrible feeling. 
Anyway, let's keep eating. Mm. 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 Make me feel better about my life. It doesn't even need anything. Let's try. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Mm. So fatty. <clears throat> Let's try this now. I definitely feel lighter in my spirits by like 2% <laughs> after ordering this food. I definitely feel, hmm. By now, as soon as I'm digesting and the camera goes off, I'm gonna be back to crying. I was crying, people, I was crying. I just, I'm like looking at myself, I'm looking at my life, I'm analyzing what the heck I did for the past six years. I'm like, this is not worth it. This is just not worth it. I'm not liked. I'm not liked by the YouTube gods, get the worst CPM. I'm not liked by all my viewers, get the worst reputation. I gained 200 pounds. It, it's really hard to just come on here and be like, wow, I'm struggling. Like, what am I doing? <laughs> I just want to disappear into just desert island. Just starve to death over there. Just get... <sighs> Have you ever felt that way? Like, what am I doing with my life? What am I doing with my life? <laughs> Anyway, let's try this cheeseburger. I've never had a cheeseburger from Denny's. Um, and this one has, oh my goodness, a lot of different stuff. Oh, and it's all coming out. Guacamole, mayo, brioche bun, hash browns, cheddar cheese, Swiss cheese, bacon, how did this get really dark all of a sudden? I am so sorry. Ooh. Oh, man. What are we doing over here, Denny's? Like, what are we doing? Pickles. I forgot I, I forgot to take off the pickles, but that's okay. What is that? I, I can't even speak. Mm. I just ate two thirds of it. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Now, these are extra crispy. I know it's crazy. I was actually thinking, like, I should have asked for extra crispy. Well, they did it. They just, I didn't even have to ask. This is how I like my hash brown. Mm. Oh, man. I love Denny's. And 
And these fries blow me away. I think I said this last time, it's like Jack in the Box flavor. Uh, oops, grease, Jack in the Box grease, Jack in the Box uh, flavor and saltiness, but in a straight form rather than curly. Well, more of like a charred flavor than Jack in the Box, definitely. You know what that means? It's like that, that burnt stuff on like a cheeseburger patty. The burntness, it's, it's like a good burnt. Mmm, that was a crunchy and then the other one was like crispy soggy. Not soggy, crispy. It's hard. Mm. No butter. That's okay. That's okay. I honestly, I was thinking like, I didn't even want the pancakes. But just for you guys, I will have one. It needs butter though. Oh, they smell. Let me just try it kind of as is. You guys like pancakes? I am a French toast Belgian waffle girl. But pancakes are nice sometimes. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. No butter? Wow. Calling corporate. Ooh. So yeah, I'm hated, I'm unliked. I don't even know why people, it's just, it's a funk. It's a real bad funk. And I know I'm gonna get comments like, oh, we love you, Nick. Oh, don't be down. Everyone, no. You guys are the minority. I get like a thousand, maybe 2,000 comments per video. A pop-in video, maybe three to four. On a viral video, like my main channel, you know, I get like a million to two million to three million views per video over there. We're talking like 8,000 comments. They're all hatred. This channel, a 1,000 comments, you know? You guys, the video has like 100,000 views, maybe 200,000 views. What's 1,000 people out of 200,000 opinions? After it sits for a couple weeks, so there's like gonna be like 200,000. That's like 0.5% of all the <coughs> viewers. You guys are the minority. If I get 1,000 people saying, well, we love you, 199,000 don't. And that's the reality. That's the reality. Like, I've seen what people say. I know. I've seen the videos. I've seen comments about me on other people's videos. People calling me disgusting. People saying I should be deplatformed. People saying, people making videos that I'm the worst YouTuber on this platform. The worst. Getting millions of views too. I'm the worst. I'm not the people that scam their audience sell them things that break, sell them, you know, like, oh, buy my cryptocurrency and then there's no cryptocurrency or buy my tickets to my tour and then they don't show up and don't do refunds or buy my makeup and it's like expired or something or it's like overpriced. <laughs> yeah, but I'm bad because I gained a little bit of weight or I overate or whatever I did. Like, yeah, is it great that I gained weight? No, but that makes me the worst out of the whole internet. There's some people on here who have really hurt people. And like I said earlier in this video, I haven't engaged with anybody besides my friends. Publicly, I mean, I have my actual friends too, but I'm saying like, the ones that I introduced you on my channel from collaborations, other YouTubers, you know? I don't have drama with anybody. I love all of my friends. I'm thinking like, what have I done to anybody? Now, are there always people saying crap about me? Yeah. I don't give them attention. I don't ignite, I don't ignite fire. I take the high road. I'm like, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to make both of our lives harder by engaging. You don't engage. You don't listen. You don't even pay attention. And that's what I've done for years. But I'm the worst YouTuber. I'm the worst for staying in my lane and minding my business. I'm the worst. I 
I love caramelized onions with steak. Let's finish this cheeseburger. I was really, <clears throat> I'm into everything here. Beans and corn? What kind of cheeseburger is this? What? Zoom in, everybody. That's like stuffing. No wonder I thought I knew that I knew I was like, what is in here? <gasps> That's the meat? Oh no, I ordered the vegetarian. <gasps> I'm gonna have to call the doctor. <clears throat> oh shoot, that's anti-nutrients. I'm gonna die. <sighs> I'm out of breath. I, and it's the vegetables' faults. I didn't consent to them putting vegetables into my... I'm suing. That's corn and bean. Yeah, bye. Not gonna be. What am I eating? This was supposed to be a cheeseburger. They gave me a bean and corn veggie patty. I knew it tasted different. I wasn't, I mean, it was good, but now I'm offended. Now I am offended. Uh, uh. What? I'm gonna have an onion. Onion is, is supposedly good for you. offended by this. You guys like my hair? I'm not gonna, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna touch it while eating. Don't you guys like my hair? I know I got my McDonald's, uh, McDonald's hairline. Does it look like the McDonald's M, be honest. I love Mc, ooh, I should have some McDonald's. I saw in Germany that they have these um, plant, excuse me, maybe it's over by now. I don't remember. I mean, I didn't actually see, excuse me, on YouTube, I have someone eating it. I should search for that actually. I just saw in the news that I saw somewhere that they um, were trying out these McPlant burgers. The Big Mac, it was like the Big Plant or something. No, double, double quarter pounder, double McPlanter, something, plants, plant burger. They're only going to do it in Germany because that audience is more receptive to that type of food, whereas Americans, oh, we're not. Although I'm always open to trying um, vegan stuff. I think some of it can be very tasty. I was very sad when um, KFC came out with that. Remember that? That was years ago. Plant-based chicken nuggets. And I was very excited for it. I'm like, I'm, I'm for this, you know? It was bad. And I, I'm like, KFC, I know you can do it better. It was like rubbery. The skin fell off the rug. It was like eating big erasers, the ones you have in schools. And I was so sad because I know they can do it. I know they can do it. But they were pretty inedible. Although Orlin ate them. He's like, no, they're fine. I'm like, they're really hard. He's like, yeah, but I like them hard. Okay, most. I was like, well, most people don't want to tug on their chicken nugget. You know, like really chewy. I would definitely eat that type of stuff. You know, I'm all for that type of alternative stuff. I you want please more people, make more people happy. I'm waiting for the day they come out with lab grown meat. <laughs> oh, I want more sausage. I'm feeling like sleepy now, which is good. I, I didn't sleep good last night. I was crying, thinking like, why am I doing this stupid YouTube? If I just disappeared, no one would care. I mean, people talk about it for like a hot minute and then move on to the next person. Do you know how many? Tens of thousands of YouTubers there are. Can I? No one's gonna miss me. No one cares about me. 
and I have come to really accept that. I'm like, well, you know what? This is a blessing, actually. I can just move on and do something. I'm moving back to New York and I'm getting back into music. Life is so short. I just wasted seven years making money and losing money. Not investing it correctly. Spending it on crap that I don't need. And, and then ever since the you know what, 2020, I'm not making as much as I was in 2019. Even though my views are good. Well, you're not family friendly. So it's like, what's, why am I even bothering? It's like an addiction to please people. It's also my competitiveness of like, I wanna keep on going. No, I'm, I'm literally quitting. Quitting. Mm. I need to do some things that warm my soul, like performing. In a theater, not on the computer. In a theater. With a hundred people in it. A nice small little theater. That's the life I always wanted and I was living. And I was being a little dramatic when I said I quit because I couldn't make enough. I wasn't, I wasn't applying to enough gigs and also I was new. It takes a long time to build a network. I was literally like 19. And I was there in New York for six months. You know, I've seen people, people write articles about me. People, it's really hard to find a good journalist nowadays, you all know. It's, it's actually atrocious. They just write what they feel, literally. It's like a diary for these people, idiots. Well, one person wrote, he struggled to find work because it was so competitive and he just wasn't good enough. I was there for six months. I was 19. It's not like I tried my hand for four or five years and got turned down and fired from this gig. I, I was new and I quickly moved on to Orlin and veganism and kind of just took over. But um, you know what they say, you don't, you don't quit after six months. Uh, maybe it was like seven, but literally, it wasn't even a year. It was not even a year. If it was half a year, it was barely. It was barely, because by November, I was out of there. I wasn't even in New York for this. I never even saw snow. That's how little I was there for. I didn't even see snow. Now that I think about it, I didn't even see snow. And it could be me too, sometimes. I don't know what I've said. All these years, sometimes I don't explain myself well. I'm like, I lived in New York and I wanted to be a violence to death. Maybe I didn't tell people the, the timeline or maybe I forgot. Maybe I just didn't tell. Maybe I just literally was like, I did tell enough detail. But yeah, I've seen, I've seen articles like, ah, oh, it's just not talented enough or it was too competitive. I mean, it was competitive, but I didn't lose jobs for competitiveness. I just didn't apply to that many. And I was taking my time, and again, I guess I spent a lot of time walking. I used to walk like three hours a day to avoid train tickets and bus fares, yeah. I mean, I was really poor. I was actually living on $3 a day. I, I know I've told that story. That was my limit, $3 a day. I think I had like $1,000 in my savings account. 800, maybe 1,200, which is nothing for New York City. You can go through that in a week. <laughs> like, that's nothing. That's not even, will cover most people's rent. Man, I was really on thin ice, but I was happy. I was happier than I am now. I was real, uh, oh my God. Wow. <sighs> I'm just putting this video out there for the world to let people know that I'm, I am unhappy. I am unhappy, I'm sick of, all of you, actually. I mean, think think about, when I say you, I mean the, these haters that just come on here and say crap about me. Like, you've probably watched me for tens of thousands of hours over the past five or six years, maybe seven years. I've been doing this for eight years. Um, most of you, you just saw it for free. You got on, you paid your internet bill and boom, you gotta watch tens of thousands of this, you know? Um, so, I don't owe you anything. You already got enough of me. I'm so over this. I think if people liked me, I'd stay, but I'm just, no one likes me. Mm. I wish we didn't need money to survive. Like, uh, so scary. Aren't you proud of me I didn't eat all the food? No, you're proud of me. Y'all hate me. God, I don't like my voices. My voice today is annoying me. I'm hearing my voice. I'm like, oh, shut up. I'm gonna one more piece of sausage and then I'm gonna go. Hmm. 
That is very salty. Ooh. I lost 89 pounds eating nothing but rice and potatoes, literally. Ain't that freaking ironic. Kept the, uh, what do you call it? Sound bite alive. 89 pounds, 89.8, actually. What is it, like 330 something. I'm not checking my phone, I did hear, I, I, one comment I did see, like, stop touching your phone with your greasy hands, your phone's dirty, then you touch your food, then you touch your hair, yeah, I know. I'm, I shouldn't even bring it in here when I do these videos, but I don't care anymore, because everyone hates me, so. I don't even care. Let the phone ring a ling a ling a ling a ling a ling a ling Let it ring. Everyone hates me, anyway. Goodbye. Not sure when I'll see you again. That's the truth, actually. I don't even know. I'm looking for jobs. I'm gonna wiggle my way back into New York and live the life I want. You know, my life is halfway over. Most people start getting near death around 60, 70. You only have this much. Why waste it on stupid people? Why, wa like, count up all the hours you've spent thinking about someone that's not even thinking about you. They don't even think like they don't they don't even mess with you. They don't even you you not you are not in their day to day with all the things that people have to do. You are not in their day to day thinking. Just always remember that <clears throat> everyone's always worried what everyone else thinks, and you spend all your time worried about this person on Facebook and they didn't like this and ooh they're they're commenting they left a bad comment like. Meanwhile, tick tock tick tock your life is almost done. I'm half. I'm, I'm halfway done already. Some people are lucky and go into their 80s, but most don't. Especially if you're fat like me. So have a life to live, you guys. I don't really want to think about what people think think of me. Or actually, I, I I literally will post this and not even open my channel for like a week or two. Literally, I just I just I'm I'm moving on. Like I got some dreams to chase. I got some things to make. I got things to create. I gotta do things for my soul. My life's halfway done. Half of it's gone already. Think. I mean, I think a lot of you all can relate to this. Think. Just add up. Just think. I mean, I'm over here trying to please strangers on the internet, and we're all in this boat in a way. Where how do I get a nice Instagram photo to get likes? Getting validation from people that don't even know, they don't even, I don't even know who you people are. I don't even know you. Have you ever thought about that? People are seeking validation from strangers and also idiots on top of strangers. Idiot strangers. Wasting your time. And meanwhile, tick tock, tick tock. You only get a few years here on this, on this rock floating in space and then you're gone. You're spending it thinking about people you don't like. What a sad way to be here. I'm not gonna let that happen in my 40s, 50s, 60s. 72, I'm out. I got 30 years left. Nope, I'm going to New York and doing Broadway, off-Broadway, doing the things I always wanted to do, that I was going to do, that I literally just dabbled my foot in. I like put my big toe in the pool and then got snatched by Orland, snatched by veganism, snatched by, just, oop, oh, I was like this close to starting a career, nope. I didn't even have a chance to do it. I mean, I, I had experiences, obviously. Um, also, I think I was like 20 when that, yeah, I was 20. Cause I was thinking like, no, I remember I was 19. I was doing some performing. Um, but I was also in school at the same time. A freaking kid, if you think about it. So I didn't really get to live my dream and I'm ready to actually do it. And it's not gonna involve you guys, sorry. I'm not making any more money here. It's just not even worth it. It's not. I can make the same amount serving at a restaurant. And at this point, I'd rather I'd rather do that. Maybe I'll get better tips. People might be like, oh, you're that funny guy from YouTube. I'll give you an extra couple bucks. Like, shoot. And, then, and they're not going to tell me to, to my face what you people will write in your comments about how horrible I am. I'm the worst YouTuber. That got like 3 million views or something. I mean, that's an older video, but still, it's the Taurus in me. We don't like change. We hate change. And we are stubborn. Like, we think it, we'll, we'll, we'll get out of it. Like, I'll ignore the warning signs. Like, hey, the ship's sinking. Uh, why are you going to keep doing this? Thinking it might change. You can't change people. You can't sometimes change things, reality. And I was just, I was a stubborn Taurus. I should have been smarter with the money I did have, too. It's just, it... 
and people think, oh, he's leaving YouTube, or oh, he's not posting because he's, he's. I've seen like he's going on Dr. Phil, or he's doing my Instagram pal life, or he's getting weight loss, weight loss surgery. Are you out of your mind? People die from that. Number one, number two, that's very expensive. Number three, I don't want it. <laughs> he's getting weight. He's just gonna wow us. No, I don't owe you any wowness. I'm not. I, I'm, not I'm not giving you more wows. I've given you seven years of wow. Cake in my face, you know, food on the wall, meltdowns in Walmart. I've given you a lot of wows, you ungrateful people. Haven't you had enough? He's going to come back and wow us. As if you even care about me, you act like you do. And then there's people out there with like sick obsessions and fixations. You know, I, I see the trolls commenting, get, but these are mentally unwell people, too. And these are people that literally talk about TikTok, TikTok, you're about... That's how you spent your life? Watching some idiot on the computer? Like, wow, no friends. It's just like, sadness upon sad... I'm not engaging with sadness, I just don't. And I never really did. I mean, back when I was in college and stuff, I had Facebook to network and stuff, but I was living my life. Every day I was going places, I had rehearsals, I had cabaret shows, I had this gig, that gig. Then I would go to school, then I had my friend I used to go to the gym with. I was like living in the moment and just traveling on the subway and the train and going to, you know, 46th Street or Penn Station and going up to the 20th floor and having rehearsal for this ballet I was doing and then I had this thing for a musical theater festival then I would it's just oh and then be like hey we're having barbecue a rooftop party and Soho come on over or you know it's just I miss life I miss that life you know not engaging and entertaining mental mental people let the mental be mental they're already pitiful I'm not sorry um, so that's my little update. This was really tasty, and I'm out of breath. I lost so much money in Colombia. Uh, and I never even talked about that. I, that's a whole other story. <sighs> Chasing dreams that don't end. It's Orland's fault a little bit, too. He doesn't want he was equally at fault with that one. I didn't even speak Spanish. I mean, he, he led me down those holes. Don't be surprised one day if you just search Nikocado on here and there's no channels. Sorry. Peace. I had, a, I had a nice run, I guess. Peace. Will you remember me? Do you care? Probably not. There's more people coming in. Go watch them. Like, honestly, that's how I feel. Like, honestly, it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it to be made fun of nonstop, harassed nonstop, having people call me the worst YouTuber ever, the big fat nigga cut. Like, honestly, what do I get out of this anymore? Not much. And I'll go back to New York living on $3 a day. I know how. I had a lot of practice. I don't mind. It was fun. It was fun. <sighs> I would actually like to experience a winter there. That would be nice. I never even saw the snow. <laughs> oh my gosh, I remember wearing a scarf. I remember like September, it starts getting a little chilly. I remember I had a scarf on. Um, but no, yeah, I was not there for Christmas, New Year's, nothing. I was, I was in Colombia. I've gone months without posting on YouTube. Like, don't you get it? Like, I'm getting over this. You guys can see where life takes me, what I do. 